All right, guys, welcome back to the floor plan step tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll talk about step five. And step five is locating and drawing the fireplace in the proper location uh, while also using the appropriate hatch patterns as well. So, uh, as I've been doing in my other tutorial videos, I will be remoting into a computer in school. So, it might be a little choppy. Just bear with me, okay? All right, so looking at my floor plan design here, I have a fireplace along this wall in my great room. And it looks complicated to draw, but the most important thing with fireplaces is, is if you have your measurements correct, you should not have any difficulty. So speaking of measurements, this is, uh, this is the floor plan hyperdoc that is in Schoology. And this is the fireplace page. And you'll notice here that I have some measurements listed. All right. And these are the measurements that you guys will pay close attention to. If you follow these measurements correctly, you will hopefully end up with a drawing that looks something like this. All right. So I'm going to take you into CAD and show you how to draw this fireplace in CAD. First thing I'm going to do is I'm, I'm dragging this over to the other screen so I can refer to it during the video. And I'm going to go back to my floor plan drawing. And just like in my drawing, my, my fireplace will occur on this wall. So the first thing I'm doing when I draw my fireplace is I'm going to offset the wall by the uh, by the depth of the fireplace and the depth of the fireplace is going to be 24 inches so I offset my wall by 24 inches and hit enter all right and now I choose a starting point uh, like I said, it might be a little choppy. I apologize. So my fireplace is going to be, my center of the fireplace is going to be right here. And my fireplace opening is 36 inches. So I offset my center line by 18 inches on both sides. And I can go ahead and delete this center line right here. And now I can, I'm just trimming all of this. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the fireplace. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm drawing the, uh, the indentation of the fireplace and that is four inches. So I take my line tool, start from this corner and I draw out four inches. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So hit L for my line tool, start at this corner, four inches, hit enter and escape. And then now it gets a little bit interesting, all right? So I know this opening is 36 inches, all right? But the back of my opening is 23 inches. So that is um, 13 inches less. So since I have two sides to my fireplace, I need to divide 13 by two, and that is six and a half. So I take, uh, so I take my offset tool, and I'm gonna offset 6.5 inches. All right, and then the depth of my fireplace is 16 inches. So I take my line tool, all right, and 
from the lines I just offset, I'm going to draw a line that is 16 inches in depth. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, 16 inches. All right. And then I'm going to connect. that and connect this take my line tool and connect this as well and then I can just delete all these lines that I don't need oh, whoop, I messed up with my line tool there take my line tool and from this point here come out Now I can delete these lines that I don't need. And then, so that is the outline of the opening of my fireplace. Then I need to draw, I need to offset to show the, uh, the width of, you know, the brick or the wall, whatever it is that is enclosing your fireplace. So that's a four inch offset all the way around. So I take my offset tool. And I'm going to offset four inches this side, this side, and then this side should be where my back is, which it is. And then I can use the fillet tool So fill everything in. And you need to repeat the fill it tool every time. And now what you can do, it, or the final step to drawing your fireplace is to draw an opening or, or a chimney, I should say, a chimney. So uh, your chimney can be however wide you want it. I know that from the outside point to the outside point is 44 inches. So let's say I want the uh, chimney to be um, 60 inches. So I'm gonna offset by eight inches on both sides. And then I can extend Right click, extend that line, and that is represents my chimney. And now I can trim out the extra lines I don't need. I'm almost done. The final thing I need to do is I need to hatch to show my chimney. So I hit hatch, or type in hatch, hit enter, and I'm going to hatch this and that. Hit escape, type in hatch edit, enter, and I want to edit both of these. And then this little box pops up. Uh, I like to go to swatches, uh, other predefined, and just you can pick one. You can pick uh, you can pick any pattern you like. You can go back to ANSI, and you know just just choose one here. Let's choose this one. All right, and then you can change the color. I want that to be black. And I want this to be red. So it's going to look like that. Change your scale. You can change it to 5 or whatever you want. And then hit OK. And there is your brick. Um, if you want to hatch the outline or the, the opening, type in hatch. And you can hatch that. And the reason that I didn't change any of this is because if I change 
under the properties, if I change the hatch properties, every time I go to hatch something else, it'll be that, that property. So if I were to change the properties to look like this, to look like the hatch I just did, every time I go to hatch something, it would appear like this. So that's why I don't mess with the properties. I just escape and then I type in hatch edit. And then for this one, I am going to choose, um, let's see here. I'm going to choose a solid color. Oh, let me see here. I forget how to do this pattern. No, 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 no. Oh, there it is. So under other predefined, there's solid right there. Hit OK. Then you can choose, oh, you can choose your color. And we're going to make that black. So there is my fireplace, 36 inch uh, fireplace. The only thing you might want to do um, is leave more room in the back for your chimney. You don't have to, but that would be uh, more of an ideal situation. So um, you might have it be a little a little deeper for your chimney. But other than that, again, make sure your measurements are, are all, you know, matching and, and base your fireplace off of the initial width, which for mine was 36 inches. And the next tutorial video, uh, we'll, we'll talk about how to add uh, walks, patios, and how to do some different hatching with those.